St. Louis is hot to trot. They were waiting at that pivot line my entire intro. And that whistle has blown. They were waiting to make sure. Shango fed up front. He's up against a strong purple wall trying to drive his way through. Shreddy Mercury waking his way into the back of that St. Louis wall. Three wall back looking strong. I got to say that St. Louis wall is a big bunch of dudes, man. They look agile as heck. You do not want to be up against them. Sammy Miller doing some tough defense out there for Bridgetown Menace. Shorty Mercury around the outside. He hit that apex. He got taken down, and he's still trying to fight through that wall. He's now got the jammer on jammer action going in the back. Cosmo damage in the back to some with Earl Slick trying to put the stops on. Shinego Fett over the top. And something I don't see very often. Miller took a dive. He was on his back trying to work his way through. He's now muscling in that apex. They're not letting him go anywhere real fast. Beautiful defense by the Bridgetown Menace. Bruce Payne out in front trying to wall up with Earl Slick. And recycling EP2, Shinego Fett into the back of that pack. Now I'm seeing something I really like here. Shreddy Mercury's playing some defense while he's trying to get through there. He sees that jammer come up, he helps out. Then he, he cycles back. So right now you're seeing five on five, but uh, their jammer's trying to get through where he's not that concerned with it right now. It's like an extra blocker right there in the pack. EP2 driven out of bounds. That's Sammy Miller and a huge hit delivered. And that was a nice hit by the big man himself, 618. Neil took, Death experience. Yeah, well, that was Bled Zeppelin that took Shreddy Mercury out of bounds. Nice hit. And through for five is EP2. That's Shinego Fett. And what we're seeing is absolutely crushing defense by both teams. St. Louis did not let Shreddy Mercury get through that pack, and that is a hard feat in itself. So my hat's off to him right there. But, they, but on the other side of things, the Bridgetown Menace held St. Louis Gatekeepers only five points over an entire two-minute jam. So both teams right now focusing on that defense. Number 11 out there for the gatekeepers, debaucherous prime. And Don Juan trying to muscle his way through. And you know, for a smaller fellow like he is, he's got a lot of meat behind him, and he is a tough guy when he hits you. Debaucherous prime gets the nod. He is your lead star on the track right now. Don Juan keep getting taken out of bounds, and they're taking him way back. Debaucherous Prime showing off the moves, going into turn four. He rounds the corner and picks up five. Don Juan in the middle of that pack, trying to get a little help from his friends, but they got to play some defense as Debaucherous Prime comes around. Three wall in the back, Bridgetown Menace putting him on his backside. Don Juan, he got out and uh, actually only held seven points being scored on St. Louis. It took him about a lap and a half to get out, but that was great work by Don Juan. Staying low, staying hard, and hitting a lot. Early scores zero, Bridgetown minus 12, St. Louis Gatekeepers with 26-23 in the first half. King. Right now we see Batwing out there for the first time, and Elysium, who tore it up earlier against Puget. Right now, Miller is doing a nice job locking down that jammer. He escorted him to the back, and he, just like that, went from offense to defense, and Elysium is your lead jammer. Number 68 is Batwing, and he's out there against Sammy Miller one-on-one. -on -one. And looks like Miller and Clydesdale both going to the penalty box. Uh, didn't see, it looks like a low block I know at Clydesdale. Earl Slick recycling there. Great defensive play for the Bridgetown Menace. 
Elysium calls it off. Looks like they're asking some questions right now because they want to know, make sure those penalties are correct. Got two players right now from Bridgetown camping out in the pass Ruben penalty box. And for those of you checking this out at home, there's definitely some energy in the building. This one's kind of been building all day. And I didn't see it, but it looks like we're going to start in a power jam on this next run. So they're going to have a little bit of discussion out there, get a little bit of officiating to, to talk about it. Uh, and we're going to see Shreddy Mercury on the jammer line in this next jam regardless. And I think we got just Jake down there going to give us a bird's eye view of what's going on on the track. Clarifying so, penalties, mistaken penalty went in. No official review charged for this. Game on. Looks like Miller was released. So we're just going to start this in a power jam. Shorty Mercury's got a nice three line wall up against that he's got to try and fight through. Percy Control out there with Inquadible Hulk for the St. Louis Gatekeepers. Number one is the Saint. Things are gonna be nice and slow. Looks like they're gonna play a little bit of passive offense. Let Shreddy do what Shreddy does best, and that's just try and work and muscle his way through. Found the opening, he's your lead jammer! Right now, Bridgetown Minutes opting to take the back. They're set up on either side. You don't know where the sweepers are gonna come from, King. That's right. And you know, we've been practicing that here at Bridgetown. Uh, I know right now we're playing a little bit of off off offensive passiveness, but he gets through, he picks up his five points. Shorty's a real strong guy, and he's got the agility to get through that pack. Closing that gap up, it looks like we got seven to 12. He's coming around again, back in the pack. He's out there against a strong looking three wall though. No easy points. Five more points being scored. And we got a tie game, ladies and gentlemen. Shorty engaged in the back of that pack once again. Stepped out of bounds, called it off. They iced the jammer just like that. Great heads up play by the bench. Great heads up play by Shreddy Mercury to pay attention to what's going on. Randy Pan, what you got down there? Clarifying a possible additional. A second minute has been assessed to White Jammer for taking off equipment in the box. Illegal procedure. So we got, it's Miller out there with the star on his helmet for Bridgetown. We got an actual sausage rather than the little Smokies. Miller's gonna do some fancy footwork. One of my favorite players to watch. Oh! And it looks like uh, Earl Slick tried to get out there and break something open for him. But unfortunately, he stepped out of bounds, got lots of heads up awareness, didn't go down. Neil Death experience on the inside, but Earl Slick opened up that channel, getting through for lead jammer is Sam Miller. Plays tough defense, but he wears the star just as well, King. And it looks like Earl Slick got somebody caught in the back. They're gonna abuse him a little bit, spread out that pack, and let Miller do what Miller do, does best. Miller makes his way through. He picks up five points. That's going to make it 25-12. Real easy to score points when there's only one jammer out there, though. Wrecking Bill on the track for St. Louis. Put the hit on last time. And now getting some help from Earl Slick to open up that slot. Once again, some great offensive blocking from Earl so far in this one. You know, I got a question calling off that jam right there because that was going to be his initial pass through the pack. Miller was already out into the races scoring points. So why would you call it off when he leaves it? You should, if you're either gonna call it off when he's still in the, in the box or keep going around and try and get another scoring pass. Either way, we're sitting at 29 to 12 right now. EP2, Shenego Fett back on the track for St. Louis. If you're watching at home, light shirts, St. Louis, dark shirts, Bridgetown Menace. 
Elysium takes a nice hit on that outside. Shrugs it off, gets right back in there. He's got one player left to beat. Elysium's your lead jammer. Shinego Fett on one skate, almost went out of bounds, but saved it. Blocker that knocked him out went out as well. Elysium coming back through that three wall. Two to beat on the outside. Looks like a multi-player blade block being called at the end. He was holding on to his player. Elysium tried to go through. Penalties being assessed. We right now got another player from St. Louis in the box. The penalties right now benefiting the Bridgetown Menace. Number 85 is Shreddy Mercury for Bridgetown Menace. Out there against number 11 is Debaucherous Prime for the Gatekeepers. Shreddy Mercury right now trying to make his way around. Gets taken out at the apex. He's starting back at the back again. Debaucherous Prime out in front. He's pushed out of bounds. Some great defense by Earl Slick. But getting out first. And Don Juan, he went down. But that was only after he took out that player up there in the corner. And we just got confirmation that's the fifth consecutive lead jam for Bridgetown Menace. But you know, in St. Louis's uh, defense, they've had a couple power jams back to back. And so therefore, you know, it, it does. It kind of builds up and you can get some real easy lead jammers, especially when there's not another jammer out there on the track. So you're saying on power jams, it's easier to get lead? Well, yeah, if you're the only guy out there. 12 points for St. Louis. Nat King Kill and Elysium out there with the stars on their helmet for their teams. And Nat King Kill with one to beat. He's pushing in the middle, comes back in, quick feet. He gets lead jammer for the gatekeepers. Elysium up against a very, very big blocker. Looks like that is in Quadable Hulk, and he is really slowing him down, not letting him get through. And that was a four-point pass for St. Louis. Once again, light shirts, St. Louis gatekeepers for you at home. Dark shirts, Bridgetown Menace. We've got 16 St. Louis, 33 Bridgetown, 19 minutes remaining in the first half. Cosmo damage right now, cooling his heels in the pass through ribbon penalty box. Bad wing out there with a the star on his helmet going again up against Don Juan Devastator. 33 to 16. Bridgetown's ahead, but they're not out of it right. Uh, St. Louis is out, not out of it by any far stretch of the imagination. And almost holding that line was Don Juan Devastator. He resets, allowing St. Louis to come up with lead jam. Bad wing right now up against a strong three wall. Still trying to get through. Bruce Payne doing his best to stick with him, but he finally manages to get through. He picks up five points, grand slam. St. Louis opting to take the back. They have that four wall, and right now they're trying to trap, control that speed of play. Don Juan did a really nice job getting around that pack. They held him to one point on that pass, 22-33. Bridgetown is still up. Nobody's in the penalty box right now, so it's gonna be five on five, the way it was intended to be played. I want to do a quick shout out for Blaze Streaming Media, helping us to bring this live to your iPad, computer, or other mobile device. EP2, once again, Shenego Fett, wearing the star for St. Louis. And number 85, Shorty Mercury, he's trying to weasel his way right through the middle of that pack. Once again, he's also keeping an eye on that jammer, making sure that he doesn't get through. Shenego Fett out on the outside, grabs lead jammer, but not far in front of our Bridgetown Minnesota skater there. 
And they were calling from the bench, call that off. Jordy Mercury's a fast young man and he was catching up with the greatest of speed. Only two points scored on that pass, makes it 130, or excuse me, to 33, 24. We've got food tonight, courtesy of K's Bar and Lounge. You can smell the nachos wafting up under our noses. And at Gaze, they're a proud sponsor of Portland Men's Roller Derby. They're a great place to go, whether you're having some drinks, get some derby nachos, whatever it might be, Gaze is the place. <laughs> Elysium right now up against the back of that St. Louis wall. They are not given one inch right now. Number 11, Debaucherous Prime, helped out of bounds by Earl Slick. And jumping out, that's four in a row for St. Louis with lead jammer now as the streak reverses. That was a huge, huge, huge hit on the outside, taking Elysium right back out of bounds. Nat King kill. Fantastic awareness and movement to get that hit. Elysium right now, trying to check it out, seeing where everybody is on the track, trying to work his way around. This jam is called off. No points being scored on that pass. So we got a nine point bout. Once again, for those of you watching at home, St. Louis, light shirts, dark shirts, Bridgetown Menace. Nine points favoring Bridgetown Menace with 15-20 in the half. Well, right now, Bridgetown has numbers and they got Don Juan on the track as their jammer. There's two players right now cooling their heels in the penalty box. And so that's gonna make it a little easier for Don Juan to get through. Batwing out there for the gatekeepers. Don Juan around the outside. He gets hit. He pushes forward. They call him out of play, and he's your lead jammer. Trying to work their way out as well is Batwing, number 68, for the St. Louis gatekeepers. And Herman Muster getting called the penalty. He's going to be going to the penalty box right now. Once again, Shreddy Mercury putting the star on his helmet. And Shane Gofet, he's gonna be the other jammer out there for the St. Louis Gatekeepers. Freddie Mercury trying to find some space on the inside, but there's a big blocker waiting for him. And Shreddy Mercury just levels that jammer. He's down and not getting back up. Official tour, we're having an injury timeout right here. You never want to see that on the track. That's what we want to see here. Everybody put your hands together. Shango Fett. 
We got a lot of tough individuals, but when they go down like that, you like to see them get back up and skate off on their own. All right, stepping up the line for St. Louis, number 11, Debaucherous Prime. And once again, Shreddy Mercury out there on that line. Both jammers getting off to a quick start there. We've got some blockers sitting in the box. Pack advantage favoring Bridgetown oh. right now. And Shreddy Mercury taking a seat in the Paps Urban penalty box. It looks like he got a back block called on him. And that's going to put St. Louis in a power jam. Doing a great job recycling is Bridgetown Menace. Right now, we got Sammy Miller out there with Earl Slick and Cosmo Damage. That's a pretty fearsome threesome. I was about to say, if there's three players out there, I would not want to have to go up against. That's pretty much it right there. And by for five is Debaucherous Prime as he makes his way around and closes this gap for St. Louis. And he once again engages that purple wall, trying to smooth his way through. And he keeps rolling, but he keeps ending up. Oh, they tried for the push out of bounds. I don't know how he did it, but he stayed in and picks up five points for his effort. Really great foot placement there. He almost stepped on, but managed to stay in bounds. Debatris Prime hits that wall once again, and that is the end of the jam. But we've got 34 St. Louis gatekeepers 37 Bridgetown minutes with 12.33 in the half. Well, Bridgetown was on a tear early, but they have slowed down and let St. Louis get back up in this game. St. Louis definitely has some bigger lineups. They like to roll out there every once in a while, some big hitters. I think pound for pound, St. Louis has got the most meat on their line of any team I've seen so far. Most meat north of San Francisco or south of Seattle. Bat wing out there for the gatekeepers is your lead jammer. And Shreddy Mercury has served his time. He's back out there and moving, trying to find his way through that pack right now. All walled up in the back are the Bridgetown Menace. There's four of them out there. Not an easy sled ride. Shreddy Mercury found his way through. He's not the lead jammer because obviously he was serving a little bit of time and well, somebody else already got it. And they call it off. No point scored for Bridgetown. Real good job there on the transition. St. Louis switching gears, going from defense to offense as their jammer got back into the pack. And just three points between the two teams, so this is about the closest it's been since about 15 seconds in. And it looks like three points were scored. We have a tie game right now. 37-37 up. Elysium's on the track. Earl Slick doing a really nice job trying to help his jammer get through. That's Nat King kill out there for the St. Louis gatekeepers. Elysium with one player left the beat, stays on his feet. He does a great job of keeping those skates churning as he tries to make his way into the pack. Nat King kill did a really nice jammer hit to keep Elysium in the back of that pack. I think he would have been gone had, had he not had the awareness defensively to stop it. Great job right now, Bridgetown Menace out in front, recycling on Nat King Kill. Sam Miller with Cosmo damage, they took him out and recycle once again into the pack. Cosmo damage and Miller in the back with uh, Nat King Kill. Nat King Kill eking up that line. Steps out of bounds. Whistles being blown. Elysium's your lead jammer. Lots of defense out there. Lysium's calling it off. Looks like he got winded. I don't know if he got a strong hit, but either way, he did not want to try and run that one out. We got a couple of jammers in this bout that have a background in acrobatics or circus work or something. They're walking those lines all the way around the track. Just call it Derby's de Soleil. Don Juan de Devastator out there with the star on his helmet for Bridgetown.
Debaucherous Prime is his cohort with the star from St. Louis. Three wall out in front for Bridgetown Menace. We've got even up in the pack, three on three. And Juke Blocks Hero doing a great job of marking the spot where he wanted the jammer to come back in. Doing a great job in the back. Bridgetown Menace showing their defense and just muscling out Mr. Uh, Prime back there. Both jammers out of the pack now. Don Juan Devastator with one to beat and gets a nice help from Juke Blocks Hero. Good offensive block there to free him up for four. Uh, near death experience got a cut out there. He's going to be sitting down. That's going to be putting two blockers in the box for St. Louis. And making it a little bit tougher to play some defense on their uh, end of things. And right now, Julius Pleaser trying to work out the shoestring situation there. That can be critical when you're trying to skate. You don't want that in your wheels. 37, St. Louis Skatekeepers, light tops. Bridgetown Menace, dark tops at 41, 825 remaining in the half. Oh, and uh, Susan B. Anarchy snuck out there to call a little bit of a timeout. It looks like an official review. That was the signal, yeah. There we go. Well, that's going to give everybody a time to catch their breath with eight minutes left in this half and a four-point game separating these two teams. Brandy Pan, what's going on? Uh, official review called by Bridgetown. Uh, just reviewing the points on that last jam. Point stand, that's the official review of this period for Bridgetown. All righty then. EP2 back on the line, that's Shenego Fett for St. Louis. And Shreddy Mercury with the star on his helmet once again. He's up against two players up front. They only got two because two are in the penalty box. Easily makes his way through with a little bit of help from his friends. That was great offensive blocking to open that hole. Pack advantage right now favoring Bridgetown Menace. They've got the stops on EP2 for the moment. And Earl Slick up front escorts EP2 out of bounds. And we're going to go back. Shreddy Mercury getting ready to hit that three wall. Big initial hit. He's got one to beat. Make it two. Battle going on. Well, I think he already passed him. So he's got the points and the points for the gentleman in the box. He calls it off. That's a five point play. That's the kind of love you want to see out there. 46 for the minutes now, 37. It's still single digits, and it's in anyone's game because we're not even at halftime yet. He did an awesome job of holding that line on the outside, a little pirouette. Almost Olympic style quad skating out there right now. Batwing once again with a star on his helmet for St. Louis. Number 17 is Elysium for the Bridgetown Menace. And he took a little step out of bounds, so he's got to go back to the back of the pack and start again. Both jammers working hard. The two wall out in front for Bridgetown Menace, trying to put the stops on. And another penalty being assessed. I believe it was a low block. They had their back to me when they called it, but uh, neither here nor there. There's people sitting in that penalty box for St. Louis. Both jammers out of the pack now as Elysium cleared that last blocker. Juke Blocks Hero doing a good job on defense. Oh! And he got hit. He picked up one point on that pass, but wisely called it off to make sure no points could be scored by Elysium on that pass. Huge defensive effort from both teams thus far. 38 to 46. Yeah, you know, and with six minutes left in this game, that is pretty much the story of this game, defense. It's 46 to 38, and we haven't seen anybody just break out and run up a bunch of points. Uh, there's been some penalties, but not so many power jams. So really, it's been a, a pretty decent game for the most part, penalty-wise. So now you gotta say, who's gonna be the breakout? Who's gonna be able to uh, handle the fatigue factor? Who's gonna be able to handle the rest of this game and keep in control of the penalties? It's warm here in Portland. I know some of you are watching from home, so if you can't see it, which you can't, it's humidity, and then we've also got some heat going on. The hangar 
Um, how should I put it? Not the coolest building in America, probably It's not. a big metal building, and uh, it's summertime. And let me tell you something, it also gets chilly in the winter. It's only eight points between the two teams. St. Louis Gatekeepers, 38. Bridgetown Menace, 46. 618 in the half. White shirt, St. Louis. Dark shirts, Bridgetown Menace. Some wacky fans down front getting rowdy. They're ready for this jam to get back underway. I think that's culture shock there for Deep Valley belligerents doing a double duty. Ooh, so he just got done playing and uh, sat on someone's neck. That doesn't sound very healthy. All right, up front, Bits Miller is uh, trying to slow down that jammer and he got a little bit of help from Mr. Earl Slick. Debaucherous Prime finds some room just behind the last blocker and slides his way through the pack. Uh, Cosmo Damage got a little bit of bump and bumped Don Juan out of bounds. Don Juan Devastator making his way around the outside. Both jammers out of the pack now. Nice hit by Miller up there in turn number four. Take it out to Botcher's Prime, and he called it off wisely because Don Juan, when he gets a full head of steam, can make it around that track in very quick time. Some of you might have just joined us. Sam Miller all weekend long playing great chest-to-chest -chest defense, one of the better backward skating defensive experts here in the Bridgetown Menace. I've been skating with that guy since I put on skates, and I'm telling you, he defies gravity and physics in my mind. Right now, Shreddy Mercury trying to get past Jammer on Jammer Love out there. Nat King Kill out there for the gatekeepers. He has oh. one to beat. And he found a hole. He was trying to get around, and he pulled it off. Shreddy Mercury, though, finds a wide open lane in the middle and is picking him up, putting him down to catch up to the back of that pack. Nat King Kill's given the signal. He wants to try to make a run for it. And it looks like he ran into the back part of someone. Yeah, he kind of did. Opened a little hole with a little bit of love tap that was a little excessive. And uh, yeah, but that is the game of derby. We hit people. I think it's called a tilt when you're playing pinball. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> hey, I want to remind everybody we got an after party. It's going to be at the Safari Club. It's adult only. only. That's located at 3000 Powell Southeast. And uh, yeah. They want to make you welcome. Bring your ones. 43, St. Louis Gatekeepers, 46, Bridgetown Menace. And Miller, once again, putting the star on, doing double duty tonight, blocking and jamming, and oh my goodness, he is graceful when he wants to play. All the way around as he got through that last line of defense. And right now, EP2, Shenego Fett making his way past as well. Yeah, I'm really glad to see that. I was worried about the young gentleman down there laying there with his hurt knee, and I did not want to uh, have him remember at Portland for that. So I was glad to see him back out there on the track. Couple points being scored. Right now it's 49-43 with three minutes left in this half. Great tempo, lots of skating. Uh, we've had s some penalties, but not too crazy, and not a lot of power jams so far. Clean, I think that's the word for it. Ooh, and he squeaks right over that line. False stop, well, false start is called. He's got to circle the track in that case and come in around on the other side. It's Blood That's Zeppelin doing that reverse to the far side of the track. Shreddy Mercury is your lead jammer on this. And 68 is Batwing for the St. Louis Gatekeepers. Well, we got a few penalties right now being called for uh, the Bridgetown Menace. And so that's going to put us at a slight pack advantage. Yeah, and they got a couple of their bruisers out there. Some of those guys can flat out hit like trucks. Taddy Muster right now in the back of that. Try Herman Muster right there trying to get through there and uh, unable to. One of the things that we're seeing a lot of in this bout that showcases the skill is how well they are able to skate backwards. 
Forward skating's tough. Backward skating, extra points. You know, in the last few years, we have seen men's derby escalate to a new level, and we're seeing it today. All day, we've seen fantastic bouts, really strong hits. These athletes are showing what they do. do. All right, once again on the line, number 11 wearing the star for the gatekeepers. That's Debaucherous Prime. Makes short work of the pack, and he's your lead jammer. Well, there was only two blockers out there, and that uh, makes it easy for him to get through. Elysium on the other side trying to get through. He is just getting beat. And they're going to form a wall. He's going to play some defense with his wall right now. And Debaucherous Prime showing off some moves. He finds some space on the inside, and he's by for a grand slam. Five points. St. Louis. Penalty being called on Earl Slick. He's going to be he's, uh, sending himself to the box. Rob Lobster out front. He gets a little love tap on him. Elysium, that third blocker right now, wearing the star, trying to put the stops on. The botcher is prime and some hits delivered. Lots of players down right now. It looks like Juke blocks. Not feeling so good after that hit. He's going to be headed back to the penalty box. Didn't spend enough time there. And that's Bridgetown minutes 51, St. Louis Gatekeepers 53. And they have just taken the lead after that last pass. Back and forth, that's the first time they've led in probably about 20 minutes of game time. Elysium still stuck in the back. They are doing a fantastic defensive job on him. He is still unable to get through, and they've held him back there for almost a minute and a half. Sam Miller walking that line and pushing Departure's Prime out of bounds. Almost got the, tr the uh, track cut. So far, St. Louis has really, really stepped up their defense. Oh, and uh, there's a whistle, and it looks like there is a forearm being called out there. And that's 16, 618 on the way to the box. That's Bled Zeppelin for St. Louis. Five points awarded to Botcheris Prime for the gatekeepers. And we're at halftime, ladies and gentlemen. We got nachos from Kay's Bar downstairs. There's ice cool beer down there for you, too. We got a merch table, and we got a tight game. At halftime right now, it is 58-51. We got 15 minutes. Go get yourself a drink and get on back to your seat. We're going to get this jam started in just a little bit. All right, we are coming back from halftime. We've got some of the players already out there on the track, and they are raring to go as we speak. It's really tough to be up here right now because Kay's Bar and Lounge has pulled pork nachos that are wafting like crazy. Woo. And them der derby nachos. And if you don't know what a derby nacho is, then boy, you ain't lived. First half back and forth. Bridgetown Menace on top for about 20 minutes of that first half. Right, Just before more. it went to the break, we had a little switcheroo. That's right. Right now we're sitting at 58, 51 at halftime. And the whistles are all blowing and we're getting ready to get this jam going. What we saw was pretty good penalty protection in the first half. A heap of defense. I mean, having a score of 58, 51, there was defense by both teams really locking down this uh, this game. So it, so far, that's what we've seen. And um, I'd like to see how the second half with fatigue and heat is going to play out for them. All right, back on the track, EP2, Shenego Fett for the gatekeepers. And Shreddy Mercury up front. He's got an open lane on that inside, and he's your lead jammer. Last line of defense, Earl Slick holding up Shenego Fett. Providing that opportunity for Shreddy Mercury to jump out first. Shreddy Mercury calling orders from the back. He just wants to score some points, and that's exactly what he does. Hop, skip, and a jump picks up three points and gets him back on the board. It's 58 54. Bridgetown minutes down by four right now. And it was real close to the back of that pack. Almost picked up one on that fourth whistle. Now, this is where you take it to a higher level right here. You got the, uh, the bench hollering out. They know exactly what they want. He was paying attention, and they were jiving with each other, locked up by two peas in a pod. 
Four on two in the pack. We've got Don Juan Devastator out there against Debatris Prime, number 11 for the Gatekeepers. Debatris Prime up against Sam Miller. Cosmo comes up and he wants to dance a little bit too. Miller right now has got him locked down. They're doing some nice bridging to uh, try and help out those blockers up front. But Debatris Prime makes it through. He's your lead jammer. Don Juan the Devastator out of the pack now as well. And we're going to be in another foot race to get back to the pack here. You know, for only having two blockers out there, they did a fine job of shutting down Don Juan. Real impressed with St. Louis defense. Nice hit there. 5-1-2 is Cosmo damage for Bridgetown Menace. And you know, the two points were scored uh, by the Bridgetown on there. We got a three-point game now. So, you know, they were trying to protect their points, but uh, Don Juan, very quick, very strong, picked up those ex that extra two points when he hit that pack. Three points, it's been back and forth the whole bout. Bad Wing and Elysium are the two players out there with the stars on their helmet. Elysium right now, he's got two players to beat. Dice truck and trailer move takes him out at the apex. Last line of defense is the Saint. He's contending Elysium at the front of the pack, but getting out first, number 68 is Batwing. Yeah, they call him out of play, and uh, they got to let him go. Elysium is off to the races, but he's got a little bit of track to make up. Getting back in there and calling it off quickly after picking up three. That's going to extend our lead to six. Shirty Mercury coming back out there. He's got a star on his helmet, and he's ready to play. Quick hitting right now. Tempo is just, you're getting in, you're getting your points, you're calling it off. Hit it and quit it. Schnego Fed out there trying to work his way through. He runs up that inside line, and look at that. He's your lead jammer. That was crazy. Fast feet on the inside, just this side of a track cut. Still trying to make his way through there. Number 85 for Bridgetown Menace is Shreddy Mercury, and he's in the infield right now. Well, Shane Go, man, he ran around that track with the quickest of speed. He gets a grand slam, and that's five points. Bridgetown did not want to give up. Shreddy Mercury driven out of bounds. The blocker fell down. He can come in in front of him. That was double XL with the hit. Well, Led Zeppelin, he was the last line of defense. Finally, Shreddy Mercury managed to get his way through. But Shango Fett is in his scoring pass inside of that pack. Wisely calls it off after it picks up two points. So we got Bridgetown Menace, dark shirts, 56, light shirts, St. Louis Gatekeeper, 69. We're at 25, 55. And that's all the clock left in this one. Looks like both of the uh, coaches, both Susan B and uh, Specs out there, they want to discuss a few things. They weren't quite happy with how things went down in that last play. Back out there for the gatekeepers, number 11 is Debaucherous Prime, and it's Don Juan the Devastator, number 69 for Bridgetown. Now, right now, I'm really liking what St. Louis is doing with their defense. They did a 3-1, and what that means is they sit one player up to try and break up that wall of Bridgetown, and the other three held on to, to Don Juan. Fantastic work there, and a great way to get your jammer through. And then Bridgetown Menace with the offense, freeing up Don Juan the Devastator, get out of the front of that pack. There he is. He worked his way right around that pack. Debaucherous Prime picks up his points, calls it off. And we are seeing a little bit of a spread here. 56 for Bridgetown, 73 for St. Louis, and probably the biggest lead we've seen so far. Yeah, but as you know, in, uh, when it comes to roller derby, a little spread like that, 73 to 56, that can be caught up in one very meager power jam. Batwing out there for St. Louis, and he's out there against number 17. That's Elysium for Bridgetown Menace. Nice truck and trailer work by the Bridgetown Menace. Uh, Earl Slick taking a drop in that apex. Well, so far, they're doing a nice job locking him up. Last line of defense, Sam Miller putting the stops on right now. Sam Miller's got fantastic track awareness. He takes a humongous hit, 
Oh, and number 68, Batwing getting cocky out there. And it looks like Wrecking Bill with a hit of his own. Some big hits right now coming out on the St. Louis side. A whole lot of hollering going on out there. Elysium's out. He's taking his time getting around that track. He's not your lead jammer. And we got a rematch right now, and it looks like that's going to be the end of the jam. Some big hits on that last one. Some real active blocking going on for St. Louis. Yeah. Well, you know, as this game, as this game continues to stay close, uh, people are going to get desperate. It's going to get a little tougher. You're going to see some bigger hits, especially as that clock starts to wind down. And that was the fifth consecutive lead jam for the gatekeepers. Well, if you can stay in control of the pack, you're going to stay in control of this game. That goes without saying. Shreddy Mercury up against the back of that St. Louis wall. And he managed to pull off Lee Jammer and stay out of bounds. He's around going and on his way to the back of that pack. That was Sweet Tooth, last line of defense for St. Louis. And it looks like Sinead Fett coming right at us. And he picks up a high block. He's going to go to the box, which will put the menace on the power jam. And we got a power jam. And you know what? They have two blockers out there. Uh, Looks like they might not have fielded somebody. That's five points, and like I said, a meager power jam is all they needed. And that's a call and answer if I've ever heard it. 61 to 77 right now. Shreddy Mercury's coming around, ready to do the work. The last two passes, number 73, Sweet Tooth for St. Louis. Last line of defense. That seems to be his preferred role as he's once again the last blocker for the gatekeepers. Nice job. Passive offense, clean playing. I'm not sure if I necessarily agree with it, but Shreddy Mercury makes it work, picks up his points. And it looks like Wrecking Bill in the back of that pack. All right, I don't know if you saw that here at home, but he stood on that line on his toe stops and did not go out of bounds. Absolute fantastic body control and foot speed to bust himself out of there as soon as he got done getting hit. St. Louis now back to full strength. Four blockers on the track doing an excellent job of bridging right now. Try to give some extra space to put the stops on the power jam. And he's passed a few people. He backs up, takes a run at it, and he's through five more points. We have a one point game now. Shenego Fett back on the track. He's got two to beat. Trying to push past the menace. Demolition Man, last line of defense. Yeah, and this was a... Um, that's his initial pass, so right now, Shreddy Mercury calling it off. Wise, wise play. And we've got a lead change. Bridgetown 80, St. Louis Gatekeepers 77. What an awesome job he did of keeping his feet and making it past every single set of hips to grab all of those points. I think we were about 20 points difference five minutes ago, six minutes ago, and now reverse, three points, Bridgetown Menace on top. Right now, Don Juan with the star on his helmet trying to find a hole to get himself through. Don Juan hitting the jammer on his way through. He's your lead jammer. And right now, number 24, Nat King Kill for the gatekeepers. Trying to get past Sam Miller, which is no easy feat. Earl Slick laid down a bridge. He was calling it off when he hit 20 feet. That was great track awareness from that defense. I didn't see the call off. It must have been on the far side. Three points being picked up on that pass, 84-77. I'd like to give a shout out to some of our sponsors, one of them being Irwin Hodson. Yeah, I know you folks at home can't see the fantastic programs, but they are the ones that made these programs nice, color, glossy. If you need some printing done, go to Irwin Hudson. Speaking of glossy, we've had some wetness on the track tonight. That's right, I said it earlier. Ladies glisten, dudes are just like big sweaty messes out there. Once again, number 11 for the gatekeepers is Debaucherous Prime. And both jammers trying to eat their way through. Debaucherous Prime found that open lane on the apex. Easy place to find a way to get her through. He's got kind of a silly putty body making some space. 
85 Shreddy Mercury out of the pack now as well. And that was unexpected. Shreddy Mercury hit the back of that pack. He picked up all four of his points, whereas Abatris Prime was stuck only getting three from working way too hard to get through. You asked a great question earlier, which is how are the teams going to respond to the heat? Right now we're seeing sprints clear to the end of the jam, and that comes from practice. You got to do the extra work to make sure that when it gets to be bout time, you got the fitness. Dom on just a devastator in the back right now, trying to work his way through, getting kicked around, but he's staying on his feet and struggling to get back. Number 68 is Batwing for St. Louis. He's wearing the star, and he's buying the inside for Lee Jammer. And that was fantastic offensive work right there. Uh, number 618, that's going to be Bled Zeppelin. He opened that hole. He was the reason that they have Lee Jammer right now. Got to hand it down when you see great offensive work like that. Don Juan Devastator recycled to the back of the pack and the Saint making sure he knows where to come in. And right now there's a big purple Oreo cookie as Cosmo and Bruce Payne smash down on Batwing. He finally finds a lot of day, but he took a multitude of abuse in order to do it. Bruce Payne with that last hit, want to make sure he gets all his licks in before the jammer gets out of the pack. And Earl Slick just took the cap. And he ended up dropping things and stuff, but you know what? The whistle blew, it does not matter. We are sitting at 88, 85, 88, 88. Sorry about that, they were late to show that score to me. So we've got another tie game right here. St. Louis has put some more points back up on the board, making this game real tight with 17 minutes left. And once again, EP3 is Shenego Fett for the gatekeepers with the star. And it looks like Sam Miller trying to make his way out past that three wall in front. He finds some space on the outside where I thought there was none. And you got two blockers, Rob Lobster and Herman Munster up there trying to lock it down, but that was exactly what they needed right now as Miller runs through that pack and uh, calls it off. Four points right there, 92-88 now is the score. That Bridgetown natural, is not giving up. That natural hole opened up right in the middle of the pack. He parted through it, picked up the four points, called it off. You know, with a four point lead. That was not divine intervention. That was his blockers doing the offensive work that he needed out there. Once again, number 11, Debaucherous Prime for St. Louis. And Shreddy Mercury both just trying to uh, find the hole they want to go through, and now they're both off. Cosmo Damage giving a little bit of love up there to Debaucherous Prime, but it's not enough. Debaucherous Prime's your lead jammer. And out in front all by himself, 618, Bled Zeppelin, trying to put that booty on, but getting around the outside is Shreddy Mercury. You know, for being such a big guy, that guy is one of the most agile players I think I've seen in a while. He is out there, and that booty comes flying at you. That's a lot of meat you got to get past. It's warm in here, too. I don't know if I'd want any hot booties on me, but that's, that's, uh, that's my preference, it's I guess. Cool. HP, that's not something I want to think about right now. All right, it's 92-90. Bridgetown is holding on to that lead by their fingernails. Just two points separate this team, and we just passed the 15-minute mark. This is what's going to separate the men from the boys right here. Last 15 minutes of this game are coming down. Even up in the pack, Elysium wearing the star for Menace. And it's number 68, Batwing out there for St. Louis. And Elysium getting taken out in that corner, and he's got to enter in behind. Batwing out front, he's your lead jammer. Elysium out of the pack now as well, both on their initial pass, and it looks like Minnis opting to take the front. Oh, yeah. Gives their jammer an opportunity to get back up into that pack, pick up that pack speed. I know Elysium, for a fact, is a fast player. Sam Miller right in the middle of the defense once again. 
Three points being picked up, and we got another lead change. 93-92, 14 minutes left. I didn't think there was any hip to pass. That was a narrow margin right there. I'm telling you. You know, for the doubleheader and this being the, uh, you know, the swan song of this little tournament we got going here, I'm really glad at this point to see a score like this and a game being played at this level. Don Juan Devon Skater out there for Bridgetown Menace on the inside. He's your lead jammer. Shinego Fett out as well, and it looks like he got a forearm. And we are in a power jam with Don Juan out there. We might have two Bridgetown players sitting in the box, but Don Juan definitely has the chops and the speed to get by. Don Juan Devastator might have passed hips on that initial pass before he's recycled. He might already have some points in the bank. Earl Slick camping out up front. They've got a full complement of blockers though on St. Louis. Don Juan has his work cut out for him. Cosmo Damage joining the fun now for Bridgetown as well. And a power jam switch as Determinator, or, or excuse me, Don Juan heading to the penalty box. Now in this case, he's only gonna serve the time that Shango served, so he should be out there in no time. Small pack right now for Bridgetown Menace. And it looks like initial pass for EP2, that's Shinego Fett for the gatekeepers. And with only two blockers out there, it makes it easy to pick up those five points. St extending that lead to six, and it looks like Shinego Fett really close to that inside line. And I'm not quite sure how he stayed from falling out of bounds, but he did it. A lot of communication going on on the track right now as the outnumbered Bridgetown Menace are trying to find their space out there. Well, as you say, that uh, demolition man gets back on the track and he starts helping out that defense. Shinego Fett out against Earl Slick in the front. And everybody goes back. Ooh, Taddy Munster, try, uh, Herman Munster trying to jump back, getting those points. Trying to draw that, but it did not work on that cut. All right, once again, for those of you at home, Bridgetown Menace, Dark Shirts 97, St. Louis Light Shirts 107, 1120 remaining in the bout. That's right, with 11 minutes, they push this up to 10. And we're gonna see, once again, Shreddy Mercury out there on the track. He's gonna be joined with Debatris Prime, sharing that star in this moment. Both jammers trying to push through that wedge. It's a very tight pack, slow skating. And then it opened up. And here's a whole lot of hit, and this is where you want to switch the offense and help your jammer get through. Debaucherous Prime is your lead jammer right now for St. Louis. They're gonna line up in the back, give him a nice strong wall, try to stop him from getting any points scored on him while their jammer tries to get through. Shutter Mercury around that apex, gets through finally, but he's not your lead jammer. Rob Lobster with some good defense for Bridgetown Menace, Sam Miller and Earl Slick. Last line of defense, but squirting through the middle. That's a real smart play. He got through, almost got knocked out, called it off. He doesn't want to lose any points on this. The margin is so narrow right now, you don't want to uh, give him anything at this point. And the Menace crowd sharing the love. They're getting the cheers going. St. Louis definitely feeling the fact they're on somebody else's track. Number 17, Elysium for Bridgetown Menace out there against a strong three wall at the front. Around the outside, he's got one player left of the heat, but that's Miller and that's a tall glass of drink right there. Cosmo Damage trying to help now as well. And he got lead jammer. Looks like Miller picked up a high block, I believe is what the best call was. And that was some fast action. A little tough to catch some of the details, but both jammers gonna have a run at it here as we're even up in the pack. 
Beasum engages that back. Lots of players going down. Oh, we got players slow to get up. Demolition, man. He's brutal. Give it up for him, ladies and gentlemen. He doesn't know where he is, but he still knows how to play derby. That's right, he is a bad mamma jamma. A guy I've been lucky enough to skate with for all these years. One of the nicest guys you ever met, so he put skates on. It's been back and forth all night here as we're at the last bout of Quadtastrophe 2013 for Saturday. That's right. Looks like 115, 101. Bridgetown's down by 14 points right now. But they've been up, they've been tied, it's been back and forth. And once again, because we got a bunch of sweaty dudes out there, they are mopping up that big old wet spot. There was definitely a pig pile in the middle of that apex. Just wanna make sure everybody's safe before we keep going. It's hard to see at home, but we've got one end of the hangar open now that's bringing some air in, but that flow is somewhat contained here is it just the one end. That's right. And that's to mention they got me and you HP with a lot of hot air blasting through here. The humidity's gonna peak up, you know. Somebody's gotta do it. And this jam is on. Don Juan Devastator doing a great job of keeping his skates. I don't know how he stayed in line. That was incredible. Matt King Kill out there with Lee Jam for St. Louis. Dawn there, what they're trying to do is burn some time. Ooh, he engaged that pack. And he hit right at the gap. If he had gone right or left, that would have been a back block and right there. And it looks there. like Rob Lobster picked up a penalty. I'm not, I didn't see the call, he called it. They're flashing their, their calls real quick when, I, when they do them. But he knows he needs to take a box to a penalty. Matt King Kill picks up the low block. He's on his way to the box, which means Don Juan the Devastator is on the power jam for the menace. And it's a nine point game. This is exactly what we need right now. If you're voting for Bitch Down. There's a whistle for somebody. Miller is going to be taking a seat out there. And it's pack advantage favoring St. Louis four on two right now. Well, it's three on two. There was another call out there and uh, another St. Louis player is going to be cooling his heels in that penalty box. Trying to find some space in the middle. Earl Slick playing some offense right now. And Don Juan Devastator doing the smart thing and getting out of bounds. All right, they still have a 19 to 10. Don Juan has been escorted out of bounds on every occasion. He's playing some, St. Louis, I should say, is playing some fantastic defense. Demolition man with an awesome offensive block. That was probably one of the best power jams defensively I have seen by St. Louis. That uh, right now we've got a seven point game at 122-115. But holy smokes, they held that jammer and did not let him get anywhere. Not a lot of space on the track. And we're down to 6.33 left in this one. It looks like taking the star four minutes, 85, Shreddy Mercury. Gonna be a three on three. Shenego fed EP2 for the St. Louis Gatekeepers. And both, both uh, walls doing what they're supposed to do, slowing everything down, not letting anybody get through. And Miller came out, he's just started hitting away, but you're still not seeing a hole open up. Rob Boster, last line of defense. And right on this side of the line is Shenego Fett. Yeah, but it's gonna be a race to the penalty, or to the back of that pack right now. Both jammers are out. 
And it looks like we've got a couple of Bridgetown minutes back there. Shenego Fett puts a move on and picks two. All right, well, we have an empty penalty box, and that means it's going to be five on five. The Wave Derby was meant to be played. Got Elysium once again taking the star on his camp. Coming out here. And Bridgetown right now taking a timeout. They want to talk about it. And this is a good timeout. You got five minutes left in this game. The score right now is a nine point game, 124 to 115. She wants to make sure in the next five minutes they are doing the game that they want to play. Get everybody on the same page and know what you're going to do going into each and every jam. Definitely some strategy and probably also some breathing. Uh, we've talked a little bit about it, but it's warm here and they've been playing all day. This is the second of the double headers and everyone has skated all day long. I know there's some rotation in and out, but it's definitely crunch time right now. Yeah. A lot of calories have been expended. <laughs> Well, as it stands right now, both teams still have two timeouts going into this five-minute stretch. And I think, it, honestly, if you can continue the defensive level that you've been playing for the next five minutes and continue to keep your players on the track, we're not going to see that big of a spread either way. Unless something happens here in the next five minutes, you're going to see a tight game coming down to that clock ticking off to zero. Elysium wearing the star for Menace. And it looks like number 11, debaucherous prime for the gatekeepers. And Elysium's out front. He's your lead jammer. And this is a race. Both jammers making the way around. It looks like Menace setting up in the back. Yep, both players, it's a, trying to get to the back of that pack. And I know he was trying to pick up those points, but I don't think that quite worked out the way he was planning. St. Louis Gatekeepers picked it up. They're up to 128, 116. It's now a 12-point game. Some discussion at the end of that jam. I know that skaters, just like any other sport, like to talk it up a little bit, make sure that everyone knows who's on top. You mean a full contact sport? People talk crap? What? All right, we got Shreddy Mercury once again out there with the star on his helmet. He tried to get a little hit on that and unfortunately could not for the Bridgetown Menace. And that's Nat King Kill once again for the Gatekeepers with Lee Jammer. Bridgetown trying to get to the front of that pack. There's a whole lot of hitting and a whole lot of defense happening. Right now, we're split two and two, dark oh, shirts. Oh, Demolition Man got up a piece of him, escorted him right out of bounds. Demolition Man wanted to make sure the crowd knew who made the hit. I think we saw it. Looks like two points were picked up by the Menace. We're back down, still a 12-point uh, game here. 318 remaining, Menace dark, St. Louis light, 12-point bout. Looks so like we got an official review. And Jake, the man on the scene down there in his khakis, he's going to tell us what's happening with this review. What's going on, Rant? Oh. Well, it looks like they put one more point up on the board, 118, 129. There's one St. Louis player sitting in that box right now. Menace has called an official review on whether or not a skating out of bounds penalty was incurred at the end of that jam. Referees are discussing it. I will get back with you with the results. Well, thank you very much, Jake and the khakis.
No call stands. No call it, stands. It was, uh, there was impact, there was a hit, so it was not skating out of bounds. It was a result of impact. It's Miller out there with a the star on his helmet. And this jam is on. EP2 is Shenego Fett. He's had a pretty good night tonight. And Sam Miller's been a beast on both sides, offense and defense. Multi-player block being called out there. Bridgetown still doing a great work on defense. And we've got a lead jammer for it's Miller. Two while waiting out in front, some offensive blocking going on. That's 3-1-4 for the gatekeepers. Cosmo Damage went out there and he tried to put down a Spartan style hit. Unfortunately could not slow down that jammer. It's Miller gets out there, weaves through, picks up three points. It's an eight point game, 2.33 left in this bout. Eight points. Bridgetown Menace, dark shirts, light shirts, St. Louis gatekeepers, 121 Menace, 129 gatekeepers with 2.33 left. That's right, coming right down to the wire. This is exactly the kind of game I was hoping for on this beautiful evening in the doubleheader right here with Bridge City. Holding on, trying to get that lead back. St. Louis is such a force here in the Men's Roller Derby League. The last time rankings were released, MRDA said that the Bridgetown Menace was number six and St. Louis Gatekeepers were number two. But the interesting thing that happened today, Bridgetown beat the number five team. Puget Sound being the number five team. And right now they are neck and neck fighting for the lead against St. Louis. So that's gonna really play out to be an interesting uh, thing come the next rankings. Things that make you go home. Hmm. Shorty Mercury in the back, he's walling up. We got a fly ball back there holding that jammer back. Shorty Mercury trying to find some space to botch her his prime jamming for the gatekeepers. And getting out first is Debaucherous Prime for Lee Jammer. Shorty Mercury's down. He's still stuck in the back of that pack. He's getting a little bit of help on the outside, but he's taken out in the corner. And some great defense being played right there by Demolition Man for Bridgetown Menace. Well, Shorty has engaged the back of that pack. He's gotten through a little bit. He's holding on to the outside of that line. He's got a shoulder in his jaw, and he manages to eke on by. Four-point pass right there for Shreddy Mercury. Earl Sick gets a penalty called on him. He's sitting in the pass movement penalty box right now. Still an eight-point game. They just basically traded points on that last jam. For those of you that just got here, this has been back and forth all night long. Early on, Bridgetown Menace led probably for the first 20, 25 minutes. So it looks like there's two players in the box, one from each team. That's gonna put the blocker war out there at three on three. And we're at a minute left in this game, ladies and gentlemen. Sam Miller wearing the star for Bridgetown Minutes, and EP2 is Shenego Fett for the gatekeepers. And it's Miller is your lead jammer. Shango Fett still stuck in that pack and he's behind Cosmo Damage. Cosmo Damage almost pushing him out of bounds, but he stayed in. Shango Fett with great feet all night long. Uh, he picked up three points on that. And they're gonna call it, call it off. Got 30 seconds left in the clock. And I believe they're calling a timeout, Bridgetown Nimbus. Is that what I just saw? I believe that was the signal that was being given, yes. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is five points. Now separating these two teams with 30 seconds left on this clock. Where's my Bridgetown fans? St. Louis, ladies and gentlemen, let's give them some love too.
All right, we got an official review, and we will hear shortly from Randy Pan in the middle, or just Jake, one of the two. Definitely, with this much time, only 30 seconds, and five points separating these teams, we have got a rowdy crowd down there, cheering away, letting them know that they are well-loved right here in the Bridge City. Looks like we're gonna be even up in the pack to start this next jam, as each team has one blocker sitting in the box. And All right, St. Louis is calling a review on a track cut on Bridgetown's Jammer. The referees are discussing it. We will get back to you. And Shredded Mercury calling it from down on the track. He wants to hear a little bit of ABBA to go out in this last 30 seconds. And you know, if anybody should have the dance of Queen, it'd be Shreddy. Win or lose, ladies and gentlemen, get up on your feet and dance a little with Shreddy. No call stance. No call stance. Well, the official review is done. We've got three blockers from each team out there, two sitting in the penalty box from one from each team. Shreddy and... Debaucherous Prime out there. Both have had great nights tonight, King. Well, I think Debaucherous Prime has really, really been playing an excellent game. And a quick move on the inside, but that's Rob Lobster with the shoulder out. Both jammers recycled to the back of that pack. And Shreddy is the lead jammer and wisely calls that off. And they're gonna throw a timeout up there. That is great heads up play by that jammer. You got 13 seconds, you got knocked out of bounds. Craziness. We've got 128 Bridgetown Menace in dark, 133 in light top St. Louis gatekeepers. Oh, and here's an interesting twist. It's Miller is going out there with the star. You got another meaty squad out there. Five points, gatekeeper lead. Not a lot of clock left. No, 13 seconds. Now you know when the clock runs off in Derby, they play for the full two minute jammer until one of the jammers who is lead jammer calls off that jam. I notice looking down, straight down the line, we've got some go-go Miller signs. It looks like he's got some fans in the stands. How could you not love Miller? That's all I gotta say. It's Miller time. Five seconds is called. Five point game, 13 seconds left. And we're off. And Sam Miller with that defensive hit from the jam line. It looks like we got a multiplayer block. And St. Louis gets lead jammer status. And boy, they pulled this one out by the skin of their teeth. This was epic derby. Official, unofficial, I should say, unofficial final score, 133-128. Officials are gonna get out there in the middle. They're gonna talk about that score. Neither team has any reason to be upset with the way this game turned out. Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from St. Louis, please make some noise for the Gatekeepers!
and give them the love, ladies and gentlemen. Here comes your Bridgetown Menace. Been a real thrill to spend some time with you tonight. I am HB Shovecraft from Cherry City Derby Girls, and thanks for having me in, King. I had a blast. HP, it has always been a pleasure to work with you. You are a fantastic gentleman, and I will see you down at the playoffs. Dana Salem coming up at the end of September. 27th through the 29th. Be That's there. That's right. Or if you're not there, watch it online. Only and we've got a final score. 133, 128. St. Louis gatekeepers hold on by their fingernails to pull off a win right here in Bridgetown. All right, everybody hold out because we're going to have the MVPs coming up here in just a moment with Jake in khakis down on the track. All right, check it in on most valuable player. So, St. Louis has decided. I guess they're doing a chant. Bridgetown's MVP, Shreddy Mercury. Shreddy. Is he here? Shreddy, your MVP. You are most valuable player as this. <laughs> Rashawn Mendes picks debaucherous prime. Debaucherous primes, the MVP for St. Louis in this fantastic bout. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for everybody coming out tonight and experiencing this with us. I want to thank the NSOs. I want to thank the teams that came up here from all over the United States. And I want to thank the Bridgetown Miss for making it happen. Don't forget, we got an after party happening at the Safari over on PAL. That's 3000 PAL in Southeast. It is adult only. Bring your $1 bills, because there's going to be um, a need for them. You guys, for me and HP, Thank you very much.